ah, painful to play live. Is there any um, song on this record that is too painful to play in the live set? Do you I think? don't think so. I think uh, too painful. Too painful. It's too painful to play porno creep. That one hurts. That hurts a lot. It's too painful. Can't take it. So we don't ever play that one. Can we talk about the song uh, K U N T? Um, what was the the point of that? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Um, <laughs> what was what was the the point of that song? Because some people have said it's um anti female. Um, no. We wanted to make a song that there's no way it could be edited for radio, and uh, it ended up being accidental that it, it seems like it's a uh, anti female, but it's not not purposely. It would have been all bleep words the whole song. <laughs> That would have been good. Well, um, another band who probably isn't going to get played on the radio too much is uh, Cradle of Filth, and uh, there's been a lot of interest in Cradle of Filth uh, over the last few months with the release of their new album, and uh, they don't have a video right now, so uh, Headbangers Ball, we invited them down into the studio to play live, and uh, this is quite a stunning performance. I think when you see this, you might quite, quite like this. It's uh, very, very dark, very brooding like a dancer and candles and all that kind of thing. I want to so, see it. Let's see it. So let's check it out. This is uh, Cradle of Phil. Come on. <laughs> Live at Headbangers Ball and uh, this is Malice Through the Looking Glass. You know. Hildy and David are still hanging out with me backstage at Rock City in Nottingham. And guys, um, over the last, I guess, two years of kind of relentless touring, I'm sure that the friendships within the band have been put under strain, there's a lot of pressure when you're on tour and you're together the whole time. So uh, how are those friendships and relationships surviving in 97? Are you still the, the best of friends? We got boxing gloves and <laughs> every day we like box each other. We get in the ring and we put we bet money on it. I won like a thousand bucks today, I beat up John. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. I won that on Like a, a month ago, me and Head were boxing in the States and uh, I got a little carried away and I hit him with a chair and I broke his knee right here. See right here? I broke his knee. We had to cancel four shows, but uh, we just got their boxing gloves. I mean, it doesn't hurt too bad, right. but it's just fun, and we and we bet on it. So we get in the ring, and we just like box each other whenever you know. Yeah. Once in a while, somebody gets stabbed, pretty bad, or uh, beaten in the head with a chair, or something like that. But it usually doesn't get too out of hand. Right. But you must have learnt by now how to deal with each other on tour and know to give everybody their space and all that kind of thing for sure. Boxing. Boxing's the answer. Well, maybe some other bands can it's check out that. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. You want a box? Yeah, later. We could have a go. Yeah. Um, I mean... You know, nothing below the belt, though. Nothing below the belt. Okay. Uh, well, you didn't see that. So, anyway, um, a lot of the fans are relating um, very, very much um, to the lyrics on the album. Obviously, Jonathan writes those. I just wondered um, what's, what's the kind of... Uh, input do you have to the lyrics? Do you read them? Do you try and understand them? Or how, how, how is it for you? We go over all the songs together as a group. I mean, Jonathan writes his own lyrics. We don't like tell him any way we want him to write, whatever he feels he goes for. But uh, when the songs are done, we all go over them and everybody's got their... Everybody's uh, going to be happy. It fits, it fits with everybody. Is there anything that you guys might like to get out? You know, you have a chance to say something that really matters to you or do you just leave that to Jonathan? Lyric wise? Yeah. No, I mean I'll give him some ideas sometimes mm -hmm. but they're his lyrics. It's, it's too personal. Yeah. It's too personal to even be critical with it, you know? So he does what he wants on the, on the lyrics. Well, you know, we, we're more involved on the melody than the lyrics. You know, so. Okay. There you have it. So you've, uh, all, all the guys have, in the band have said how great this European tour is going. Um, why, why do you think it is that um, Europe, it seems to be a lot more open to corn than in the U.S.? Do you have any theories on that? I don't know. It's good, though. It's better. <laughs> crowds here are nuts. Good like, crowds. The size venues we're playing here, it took us about, what, a year and a half touring in the States just to play these size venues. Yeah. Right. And we're coming here for, like, the first time on our own, playing the size venues we played in the States, took it, taking us a year and a half of touring. So, something's up. People, people, catch people just got a clue, they got a clue about it, you know, over here. Mm -hmm. Kids just caught on a lot quicker. Yeah, well, we have good taste 
here in Europe. I guess you guys do. You do. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to check out some more um, corn live coming at you from Rock City in Nottingham. And please stay tuned to the end of the show because a little bit later on we are going to be telling you how you can win a corn goodie bag that features the album, the ho home video, a tour shirt, and one of Jonathan's tracksuits. So uh, it's quite a good prize there. And we'll have a little... Well, it's a sweaty one, actually. We prefer oh, one with the... Uh, that's some funk right there. Yeah, well, I don't think well, wants that one. well, whatever. Maybe we'll wash it first then. No, nah, no. No? Don't wash it. All right. Well, anyway, sweaty tracksuit. You can win it right after the break. Here's Corn Alive taking us there. <laughs> Still to come, our fantastic competition where you could win one of Jonathan Davis's sweaty tracksuits and a uh, unique prize that. And uh, also, uh, the new video for Adidas is on the way. And uh, if you missed it last week, hard luck, you should have been watching. But anyway, you're going to check it out again in just a moment. So, Monkey and Head are here now, and um, let's talk a little bit about.